Well, on Sunday, hopefully we've talked about it enough for you to remember those clocks are going to spring forward an hour, meaning you and your kids sleep schedules will likely be thrown off just a bit. Around Spitzer speaking with some local experts about what this can do to your sleep. She joins us in studio now. Iran. Yes, Michaela, just a bit is right. This time change is basically an hour of jet lag where your body thinks it's an hour earlier than it actually is. I spoke with some local doctors who say the best way to get back on track from this feeling is to head to bed a little bit earlier, make sure it's dark and quiet when you're going to sleep, and make sure there's a lot of light when you wake up. Dr. Stephen Schultz, the pediatric health medical director with Rochester Regional Health, explains there can be a few repercussions for tired kids. If you're not getting a, a sufficient amount of sleep, um, you know, as a child, then you're going to be fatigued and, you know, younger kids, we might see more issues with behaviors. Um, older kids that are driving, we, you know, might see more uh, difficulty paying attention uh, on the road and, and those sorts of things, or uh, just difficulty paying attention in class and, and learning the materials that they're supposed to learn. This doesn't affect just children, though. It's been documented that there is a surge of fatal car crashes around daylight savings time. Doctors say good sleep hygiene is the best way to acclimate to the time change. For now, Michaela James, back to you.